To me, it's been one of the best um, projects I've been involved in, one of the best thought out. Firstly, there have been mentors for the, the composers, and then they've had two series of workshops, which we've been able to really develop things and explore things, uh, to see what the limitations of the instruments are. And then, of course, the chance to record it, which is um, an invaluable, both an experience in terms of the process of recording, how you go about that, and then, of course, as a showcase to the world. And finally, being here in Huddersfield, uh, performing the pieces in such a prestigious, let's face it, an incredibly prestigious event is a real uh, bonus for these composers. I think for me the biggest benefit that I've received during this, this whole experience of uh, being part of the Next Wave program has been uh, this long-term collaboration uh, both with NMC Records, with Sound and & Music and with, uh, with uh, both Oren and now uh, Pete Smith, the tuba players who, have, who are doing my piece. So it's this idea of actually preserving um, a collaboration, preserving a, a working process and, and learning, uh, in fact, as, as I go along, uh, developing a piece from, from simple ideas and, in my case, actually I would say questions about how the tuba works to actually seeing the piece premiered to um, being part of the recording session. So really the process of collaboration has been one that's really incredible. I mean, for, for me this, this project was great because it involved so many composers. It was actually a great platform to just collaborate and discuss with those composers and especially the way the project eventually developed in that um, we involved other ensembles, one of which I ran. Um, it was actually, it worked out really nicely that I was collaborating um, with the composers very closely, working with them, working with what they wanted to do. met loads of really interesting people, uh, lots of like the other composers as well as the performers and the people at Sound and Music and NMC, so it's been really helpful. The, the concert, um, the first concert of today happened in St Paul's Hall in Huddersfield, which is like uh, an old church and it's got a beautiful acoustic, it's quite um, reverberant and it really helped in my piece to blend the electronics and the live tuba sound and it was just really exciting to have it played in a concert like that in a um, professional festival such as this one. I think the opportunity to work with, with such great musicians, with the Sinfonietta and with Laurie, has probably been the biggest thing and I think uh, it's probably changed the way I would write for voice now. In terms of the instrumentalists as well, the Sinfonietta players were so helpful. Um, got lots of comments back, so I know what I might do differently, what I might do the same, and what I would develop for next time. Through this time, I learned a lot about instrumentation, orchestration. Um, I think I developed a lot of compositional technique. Uh, in terms of writing for bigger ensembles. Uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with uh, other composers as well and also talking with uh, new musicians. There, there are very few ensembles in the world who could um, go into a recording studio having not rehearsed a piece or maybe having rehearsed a, a very uh, rough sort of uh, a version of it, workshop to a rough version of it once, uh, sometime in several months before, and in an hour and a half produce a, an excellent recording of it. It can be quite overwhelming for a young composer to write for such an established ensemble, and I think a lot of people on the scheme started out with that sort of, uh, sort of mild sense of dread that they were going to be, uh, the piece is going to be performed by professional performers. But I think, um, having been to the workshop and the rehearsals, you realise quite quickly that they're, like you, very sympathetic and passionate musicians and are there to serve the music. And that immediately put everyone at ease. So I would say, just keep that in mind. Yes, it is, it is a quite important thing. If you come out of university conservatoire, that you know how to work. Um, and how you have to work professionally or how to interact, how to communicate um, so that your piece gets better results. 
One great thing about this scheme was uh, that we had an early stage workshop and, and this was great. I got to throw a lot of ideas at them and we came up with new ideas on the spot and it was a really beneficial thing for me so what I would recommend is if for somebody turning up to an early stage workshop like that don't turn up with a, with a finished piece. It's just the only opportunity you're going to get to really experiment so just, just go, go for it. Everyone has been on this, uh, and including me, has, has found it a really enriching uh, experience. Uh, and, and really, I, I think I've developed in numerous ways, kind of developed uh, my, my composing skills, developed communication skills, uh, kind of improved the way that I set out scores and make parts and all that, professional stuff as well. So it's a real rounded package, and I would encourage anyone to apply, definitely. So the way that the whole, uh, well, the whole project has been laid out has meant that really we just have to worry about the actual music making side of things. I mean, we've basically been organised by people, which is fanta fantastic, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and it's been a brilliant opportunity, yeah. I think for me, Next Wave was a breaking through point for me to the uh, UK contemporary music scene. I met a lot of composer, a lot um, young composers which I made friends with and that's very valuable uh, for the future. So yeah, I do gain real experience um, through the project. I feel very lucky. Um, it was a lot of people involving. I get to know a lot of people um, based all over the UK and uh, yeah, I felt very lucky. <laughs>